guys and girls, if you're watching, about time I built a variac. The old one crapped out, just don't really want to talk about it. Bought a new one, this is what it looks like. And there's going to be a shit ton of people who don't like it, but I don't care. I'm free to um, construct a constructive criticism, I guess. Just some advice, if you could help me out, because one man helps out another, it's all going to be good. So, um, during level 4 lockdown in New Zealand, um, I built a variac. I had this variac for quite a bit of time, I bought it last year. I just haven't had the time to do it, but since I have the time to do it during a lockdown, may as well be productive and do something that's going to benefit me and or others in the future. So this Varic is a, uh, I can't even stuff, uh, Carol and whatever. Uh, hold on, I might have it just here. Here you go. Carol and Main All Transformers Limited. Bought it from Irish Components Online, 350 bucks, boom, including shipping. I snapped that up very quickly. It's a uh, 2.5 kVA uh, Variac, um, 9 amps at 270 volts. So um, it's good. I would like a 20 or 30 amp one, but um, those are like four or 500 bucks, and I don't have the money to spend uh, on Variac. So I saw $350 and I saw the 2.5 kVA and you know it's cheaper when you just buy them naked like this and you make a box out of them and I this wood's free and I just recycled it from an old cabinet um three, done there was a so this was a 2.5 kVA there was a 1.9 kVA with its shell on it that costed like almost $400, and this was $350, and it was more powerful, so why not? Um, so yep, 0 to 100% voltage output, output kind of wrong, because it's 0 to 270. So, anyway, I do have that little uh, center tap just there, which can, if you hook that up from 230 volt mains, you get another, what, so you get 200% of the voltage output, which is like, like double 230 so it's like 415 around there so depends yeah no it's around 400 volts it's quite a lot but um i may do that probably won't because that's kind of dangerous and also i don't really have a reason to do that and i'd need some serious ballasting equipment if i did that because that's going to really put a lot of stress on the variac um and this is only a 9 amp one so eek don't really want to be putting too much stress on it, so, uh, yeah, as I said, recycled wood from a cabinet, MDF, I've got a spare brush with the Variac, it's one of the little wheel, little wheel brushes, here you go, nice, I like those ones, so I was pretty stoked when I got that, this is a, uh, probably almost more than 60 year old switch, 15 amps, that's heavy duty, so it can take quite a bit of current, this is for the output as well, so that's exactly why I chose 15 amps. I don't have a switch for the input. Um, right, there we go. You see the door handle there, pretty recycled. Opens like that. This is the power cord, just move that cord out of the way. And this is recycled off a washing machine, 1.5 millimeters squared. So that's that can take 10 amps pretty easily. I can push it up a little more, but I uh, don't want to overheat the socket and uh, the power points. So this is what you have in here. Really messy, not finished. If this was finished, I'd kick myself because that does not look good at all. And that's not what I call a finished project. This little switch here, rated for 10 amps. This is a door switch, so this switch is not going to let power through when this door is open. Because if this was live and you stuck your finger there, ouch. Real ouch. Like, almost death. Like, that's how much of an ouch it is. So, anyway... So power comes from here, goes through the switch, through this red cord, onto this nice little isolator here, 100 amps. That was just randomly found in my toolbox because I bought it for something else and I didn't end up using it, so I might as well use it for this. Double pole, so all those freaks who like double pole, yeah, you get that too. There should really be another circuit breaker here for the input side, but I don't have that at the moment because we're at level 4 and I can't buy circuit breakers because Bunnings isn't open. 
So anyway, I've got a circuit breaker that was used for something else. I snatched that up, 10 amps. So that's for the output because when I'm powering this up, I want that, oh, sorry, I want that output protected quite well because from the input and the output, they can be two different, two different types of amperages. Don't want that. So I want the output protected so I don't burn out my variac and I'll be very unhappy. So yeah, it's pretty easy. That's the center tap, so that's like 400 volt stuff. Don't really want to be messing with that too much. I may do it, but yeah, nah. Um, neutral point. That's here. NP or whatever it is. Neutral. Uh, this is line in L1. And that's... Uh, <coughs> yeah, that's right. L1. L2 in. I'm not sure what L2... It's not a second phase. I know that it's for something else I just forgot. Um, and L out is um, the output. So that's from this brush here. Um, so you touch that, you get a bit of a zap. Touch that, you get a zap. So yeah, you've got L out, L2, L1 in. So that's that one there. That's where I'll be connecting phase because 230 volts is going to be there. And I get overwind, which should make it up to 250, 260. Um, I'm speaking really fast, sorry. So that's L1 there. That's L2. Not sure. Forgot. And that's the center tap, which is the 400 volts jiggly bigly stuff real crazy so yeah that's all cool and that's about it really to be honest so yeah after that circuit break on the output it would go to oh, move that out of the way this here and this controls oh shit my back this panel here has got a power point on it and uh, three banana connectors, neutral, earth and live. Make sure you have that earth because it'll be real nasty if you get a shock. Pardon me. There's a little thin board here. I recycled off that thing there because I picked it up at school, snatched it up real nicely. So, yep. These two holes are why it's just going to loop out and in for uh, a measurement for amperes. Uh, so, yeah. That's what's going to happen. I may add some more stuff to this board, like a trip light or a door open lamp or shit like that. But at the moment, this is how it's going to be. Put that panel on, of course, and just uh, add some more circuit protection on it. So, yep. That's my 9 amp 2.5 kVA Variac. Uh, like it or leave it. So, yeah. Uh, give me some feedback, please. Uh, I always love feedback. Especially positive ones, negative feedback, just you can just go away because that ain't cool. I would like to um, have some, what should I say, uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Just some advice actually, that's right. So if you have some advice on just if you would wire it differently or if you would um, add more stuff or what you would want to add onto this, please tell me. It's always nice to hear some different ideas, but my ideas at the moment is just have a pretty simple bone stock. I did want to have um, some gauges on it, but I can't really fit them because this that quite that hit back there, and also I can't buy gauges at the moment because, as I said, and we're in level four, so I'm stuck inside my house. Well, not stuck inside, but like I'm I can't buy anything apart from groceries and medicine. So yeah, parts that I found just really lying around or which I had for years use it in this so yeah i hope you guys like it um i'm happy i'm happy that i got a variac now because i can do things a hell of a lot more safely instead of just jamming mains on them so yes that's my little variac hope you guys have a good day stay safe would like some as i said before some advice and uh yeah you guys have a great day